Hey future Wildcats, my name is Clayton Abernathy. I am an admissions counselor here at the University of Kentucky and a proud graduate of UK. We are so excited that you are joining our Wildcat family this fall and we can't wait for you to get on campus soon. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna walk through your My UK account. I'm gonna show you all the ins and outs of what you do through your My UK account and we're also gonna talk about how you schedule classes. So we're gonna make sure that you are ready to go for that. So let's go check it out. All right, so we're going to walk you guys through the My UK web portal as we get you ready to schedule your fall classes. You're going to go to myuk.uky.edu, and then this box will show up, and you'll want to log in with your LinkBlue account and password. It's important to note that aside from scheduling courses and degree planning, that your My UK portal offers access also to schedule appointments through University Health Services. Uh, you can take a look at all your financial aid, uh, scholarships you're receiving, pay tuition through your My UK account. You can also take a look at your academic record through your My UK portal. So a lot is housed within the web portal through your My UK account. Uh, so once you log in to your My UK, uh, you're going to click on the Student Services tab. And then you're going to want to click on the My Info tab. So this tab includes a lot of important information, including changing your address, university health services, vaccinations, uh, any stops and holds you have, uh, and much more. So just want to click on that My Info tab right there. And then once you do that, it's important that you keep your address updated in our portal. So you see here right off the bat, you're going to see the student address information tab. Um, and this is important just if UK needs to send you any information, we rely on this information to be able to reach you. So you do need to update this on a pretty consistent basis if you are moving around campus, um, just so we know uh, where you are in case we need to get a hold of you. This is where you can pay your tuition. You can pay by electronic check or credit card. And just note that there is a small fee associated to pay by credit card. So again, you're just going to go right to that financials tab and then click on payment services and this is where you can pay for your tuition. There's also a guest pay option so uh, any parents, family members, guardians that are helping pay for college they can uh, access this through your My UK account to be able to help pay for college uh, for your tuition as well. Direct deposit is the fastest way to get any financial aid disbursements so if you need to get any financial aid, you're going to want to go on, click direct deposit info, enter your bank routing number and your bank account number. That way we can instantly deposit any payments directly to your bank account. This is also important if you have a student job on campus. Uh, so wherever, if you get a job on campus, you're working at, let's say, one of our recreation centers, you want to make sure to set this up so that when payday comes around, you'll instantly get the, uh, the payment straight to your bank account. Also make sure to check your financial aid information. So you can see here uh, how much financial aid you've been offered, also the estimated student budget, estimated cost of attendance. Um, so this is a good uh, planning tool as you're looking ahead to next year, just make sure everything's in line for your financial aid scholarship situation um, as you're getting ready to come to UK in the fall. And just a reminder that if you have any questions to make sure to reach out to our financial aid office. They are always happy to help with any specific questions you have about financial aid. All right, so you wanna click next to get ready to schedule for courses on your degree planning and registration uh, that says right there, the My UK GPS. Uh, and before you register for classes, you'll need to read through and sign the statement of obligation. Once you do that, uh, your advisor hold will be lifted when you are ready to schedule for classes. So you'll have this advisor hold until it's time to schedule for classes. So no need to worry about that uh, if you are seeing that right now. Just a reminder, uh, each term you're going to need to sign the statement of obligation. So when you are getting ready to schedule your spring semester classes, once you're done with the fall, uh, you're going to need to make sure to sign the statement of ob obligation that says uh, that you comply with UK's policy, guidelines, uh, academic integrity, academic honesty. You're gonna need to update your student local address every 90 days. That way we can keep in touch with you for safety purposes. And then uh, if you are receiving any educational benefits, we do need your social security number one time. 
um, and you can enter that through your My UK as well. And then the UK alert system. So you'll need to update your preferences of how you want to be contacted through the My uh, through UK alert every term. Uh, UK alert. If anything is going on on campus, there's any sort of emergency, any situation, they can reach out to you by email. They can also reach out to you by text message and phone call. So each term you're going to set your preference of how you want to be contacted by the UK alert system. All right. So once you get past all that, uh, you are going to be ready to register for courses. So you're going to click on this menu button right here. Once you click on that, you'll see this drop down. Uh, and to access the course catalog to search for classes, you're going to select course catalog. Also to access your academic record to view any AP credit, dual credit or transfer coursework and any relevant test scores, you're going to click on this academic history button right here. And then to view your degree requirements, uh, progress towards degree completion or to consider a different major and minor, you're going to take a look at degree audit right here. All right, but we're gonna go back to course catalog. So once you click on course catalog, you can see here that you can search for courses um, based on the type of class. So if you need to take a biology class, biology 152, you can click the drop down, find the prefix for biology, which is BIO. And then if you need to take 152, you would just search uh, right next to it, 152. Once you uh, do that, all the class sections will pop up. Uh, and then you can plan which course that you want to take based on the availability and how it fits into your schedule. So one thing to note is that Monday and Wednesday, Friday classes, so classes that meet three times a week, uh, are 50 minutes long. Classes that meet on Tuesdays and Thursdays twice a week are an hour and 15 minutes long. So that's just something to keep in mind. Uh, the Tuesday, Thursday classes, obviously, since you're meeting uh, one day less, the class is going to be a little longer. Um, but make sure, again, once you find the class section that you're ready uh, to schedule, you're going to click on that plan button, uh, and that adds it to your course cart. Once you select plan, a pop-up screen will appear that allows you to select which semester you'd like to take the course and to designate a priority for taking the course. So in most cases, courses required for your major are high priority courses. So just keep that in mind and click save and you've planned the course. Now, planned courses versus registered courses. It's important to note the difference. Planned courses are like a shopping cart when you're shopping online. Uh, you haven't paid for the item yet per se. So they're still just in a shopping cart. Registered courses are courses once you've scheduled uh, and confirm that you are enrolled in. So just keep in mind that what we're looking at right now are still your planned courses, so you still haven't checked out. You're still uh, adding classes to your shopping cart. Your course planner is a very useful tool to help you plan out your degree over the next four years. Um, and you see the left column lists the courses in which you are registered for. Uh, the middle column, you can see the courses that you have planned for each academic year. And the right column is called advisor recommendations. So your advisor can recommend courses for you to take each semester so that you can stay on track for graduation. Um, so this is a really good tool that can really prepare you as you're going into scheduling to know what classes you need to take. So in the registration tab, you can see your planned courses planned out over the course of the week so that you can visualize your, uh, your class schedule. So you're clicking this plan, uh, tab right here and you actually get to see the calendar of how your classes line up. So this is a really good way to make sure that you don't have classes too close together that may be in buildings a little further away from each other, uh, that you have a balanced schedule. So if you're, you know, not looking to have every class Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you make sure that you have some Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, Tuesday, Thursday classes scheduled in there as well. All right, so the registered tab uh, right here will show you the courses in which you are registered for and the total number of credit hours for that term. Um, so you see here this student, it looks like has 13 credit hours. Um, so most classes that you're going to be taking are going to be three credit hours. So um, not all students, but a lot of students uh, 
are it's pretty standard to take 15 credits a semester so that is five three credit hour classes um, and that's what most of you all will probably be taking as you are uh, starting in the fall uh, you'll look at scheduling those five three credit hour courses all right so Your degree audit will show your degree requirements and your progress towards degree completion. So you see here, um, this is a great tool that allows you uh, to kind of explore a what if. So you can see uh, what next semester could look like if you're taking certain courses. You can see if you have completed your UK core, which are just kind of the uh, core classes, the prerequisite courses that all students are required to take at UK. You can see where you're at as far as your college requirements, your major requirements, if you're in any special program, um, if you've completed those requirements as well. And we do encourage you to familiarize yourself with your degree requirements. And remember to always ask your academic advisor if you do have any questions about this. But this is a really great planning tool as you're looking ahead um, to getting ske classes scheduled for the next semester. Some important reminders. So just keep in mind that your MyUK account contains your personal academic and financial information. So make sure to protect it. Now, I'm sure you all know when you had to set up your password that you do have to set up a pretty tricky password. So just make sure uh, that you keep your password tricky. You're not telling anyone your information because there's a lot of personal academic and financial information in there. FERPA as well, the Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act. So um, we encourage you to visit the website uh, the FERPA website to learn more about FERPA at UK. One of the things that this website does is it explains uh, what's considered to be directory information or your information that is allowed to be made public and what the process is for changing that. And then last but not least, make sure you're checking your UK email regularly. Um, this is the time of the year where we're really sending a lot of updates, not to the email that you applied with uh, when you initially submitted your UK application, but your official UK email. So this is going to be uh, your mode of communication at this point when we are reaching out to you. So just make sure that you're checking your email, uh, your UK student email for important reminders. All right, so that is all the information for your My UK account that you need to know as you get ready to schedule fall classes. Good luck scheduling your classes, and we can't wait to see you on campus this fall.